Oh, holy hell, guys. How the frig's it going? It's motherfucking Friday. One more sleep and then we ice fish. Can't wait. First break of the day. Yay, yay. Man, I drank like three coffees this morning and that was a wicked piss. Tell you a little something about that noise. Holy hell, she's a beauty day outside today. Let me tell you. Freaking warm, nice. This has been one of the weakest winters ever. Anyway, I'm going to make another bag of fish today for lunch because that's friggin' awesome. Not high in calories and uh, super high in protein and uh, that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. All right, steam blast them sons of bitches for 45 minutes. Good to go. So that's what I like about these, uh, these freaking things. It's like per one fillet, 85 grams, 70 calories, no fat, no carbs, 16 grams of protein. Freaking awesome. I need that barcode so I can scan it into my Fitbit. Anyway, guys, today we have some stuff to do after work. Just gotta get to that point in the day. First off, once work ends, we gotta take a rip over at Canadian Tire. I gotta go pick up my sled. I bought one of those Pelicans to haul all my shit on the ice with, and it's ready for pickup. I ordered it yesterday and it's available today. So we're gonna go get that. And I ordered something else for another video that I'm gonna be making involving whatever's living in my attic. I'll show you that on this video as well. Or I'll save that for the other video. After we get back, I wanna park the truck further down down the driveway because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the new shanty the new hub the new ice fortress that we will be fishing from tomorrow and Sunday but I want to make sure I'm gonna be able to set this thing up on my own so what we're gonna do is when we get back from Canadian Tire tonight we're gonna set up the shanty in the driveway park the truck back a bit give me plenty of room I was like oh I'll shovel out a spot in the backyard and I'm like why driveway's already clear backyard means I gotta trek that thing through dog shit no 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 we're gonna set it up in the freaking driveway just set it up go inside Side, see what we're looking at see how hard it is to put it up how hard it is to take it down and go from there so that's the battle plan for this video so uh stay tuned like i said we got to go to canadian tire got to pick up some shit come back set up the shanty i do want to get to bed early tonight because i want to get on that ice as early as possible tomorrow so that we can have a lot of daylight for a lot of fishing and hopefully get some success where we can bring some stuff home catch clean cook style and have ourselves a tasty freaking meal tomorrow night all right guys so stay tuned check back in once work ends peace well the Frig is my mother freaking phone. It's a question I ask every freaking day. There it is. Alrighty, potatoes. We're done. We're done work. We're freaking done. Guys, it's been super busy. Any freaking hoozle. I already let the dog out. I let him out today at like early o'clock. It was like four o'clock and I let him out so that uh, we can just jump in the truck and go pick up our shit. All right, hat on, masks in the truck. Let's go to freaking Cambodian Tire and pick up our new Pelican sled. And then when we come back, we'll set up the Now it's kind of windy out. Not like super like, oh my God, 30,000 kilometer hour wind but uh, windy enough. We're gonna try and set up the tent right behind me there, right in front of the garage door. Reason being is, I figure I better figure out how to set it up while I'm at home, where I have internet access to research, and if there's anything goes wrong, at least I can figure it out. Rather than being on the ice, trying to tear this thing down and not knowing what the heck I'm doing, which will probably happen anyway. But let's go to Canadian Tower, pick up a shit. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, we're down here at Canadian Mother Frigger, and uh, we're in our number 11, again. I film ahead but the person in front of me probably think I'm filming them and uh, I don't feel like dealing with nonsense and bullshit right now so what I'm what the hell is that all about oh, yeah. yeah it's I got an email from Google hey guess what we now own Fitbit yeah we knew about that but I guess the acquisition is finally 100% on board but um, so we got our order here pending and uh, gradually they'll bring it out so we got ourselves a sled and a little something to catch whatever the frig is in the attic That'll be a separate video, so. Well, I don't know what the fondle farts is going on, like the guy beside me in this truck here. He got here after me, and he already got his shit, and he's leaving. Uh, there's another person who got here way after me. They got their shit, they're leaving. Looks like he didn't get all of his shit, because he's getting out to go and talk to someone. He's got a mask on, so he's about to enter the store pissed off. I've been here for like 10 minutes. I bought a sled and one other thing. Like, what the frig? Don't say my order's ready for pickup. My order's not ready for pickup. Like, what's going on here? Seriously, the guy in this friggin' Mitsubishi Lancer shows up, like, not even three minutes ago. I don't need to yell at the kid because this kid's already getting ready. Like, literally, this here Honda Fit showed up. People are showing up way after me, and they're getting their shit way before me. Like, this guy in this Honda almost hit my truck. I think I would've got out and punched him in his face multiple times. Remember that Honda Civic that pulled up? That guy over there? Yeah, he got a ship for me too, so that's fine. Best experience ever, guys. Curbside, Canadian Tire. How much you want to bet this Kia Soul right here gets his shit before I get mine? Remember what I said about that Kia? Yeah, already getting their shit, not me. So that it, I win the bet, whatever the hell we were waging on. 
Freak sakes. Okay, I'm done playing nice guy. I just went over to the doors and just hung out there and waited for somebody to come out. And I was like, listen, like, what the hell's going on? I've been here for like freaking 45 minutes so far. And uh, where's my shit? Sometimes you just gotta raise a bit of a stink to get what you need. Anyway, let's go home. Alrighty, boys, we are finally home. Have that nonsense, eh? Anyway, here we have the new Ice Fishing Hauler 9000, also known as the Trek 60. Oh yeah, that is the freaking tits right there. Here, let's get some light on the subject, eh? Look at that thing. That is the tits. Um, if you're wondering what light I'm using, I'm using my headlamp. But uh, that is pretty awesome. Should be able to haul that along pretty nicely and you know, even step inside of it, wrap it around my waist and just walk with it. Beauty is freaking plain, boys. Drags perfectly good. Just like a sled should. Oh man, that is, that is, that is tense. Right, so what I'll probably end up doing is just like, I think the sled will fit over here. Just like fart. All right, hello. Um, just fire it over here on the ground there and should be good. Should probably close that door. Yeah, she'll just bang all day. Got a brand new, I don't know why it does that. It doesn't, nah, whatever. Anyway, so I'll just grab the old Skivens Tower 2000 here. And now I am gonna buy the runners for it. Uh, this one here, the underside doesn't have runners. However, you can see that there's totally the markings here for the runners and you can even see where maybe there's actually pre-drilled little slotted it's meant to get runners so they have them on uh, Amazon they're pretty cheap they're like 40 bucks and they're it's so you can drag it across like uh, well basically what destroyed the ski on the smitty sled well that's gonna happen to this if I don't get those runners if I drag it a lot across a lot of pavement so yeah, better get those runners. The one thing I was worried about, would the shanty and the duffel fit in the sleigh? The answer is hard yes. Beauty. So we still got room over here. So I still have room for the fish finder, the heater, and my Tupperware, which I'm gonna debolt from the bottom of the smitty. And we're gonna use that there in here. Also, I got some chairs I'm gonna be carrying with me too. More stuff to bring, oh, geez, sorry. More stuff to bring along, yay, yay. Anyway, uh, let's get this sleigh out of here, get this. Get this shanty set up in the driveway. Said I was gonna do it. Get you guys aimed properly here. Gonna get that all set up first. I need to go rock a piss. All right, guys, bladder's drained. Well, let's go ahead and set up the shanty for the first time ever, right here in the driveway, and see how easy or hard it is to do. Sweet. Okay. Oh, you guys want to see Chateau Skivens? Well, let me show you the new shanty, shall we? Oh, dude, I didn't know it was reflective. That is pimp. So, uh, I got this door open here. Look at how much room we got in here compared to the old one. This is freaking awesome. Well, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, which, don't get me wrong, that's good. I can set up my light back here and have it echo out. Oh, it's got another mesh one over here too, look at that. Little pouchies to store shit. These are windows, so you can use them or not, doesn't matter. This apparently is some sort of a vent. You can open it up and on the outside here you have this, so lets in fresh air, so if you have your furnace going. Uh, uh, guys, 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 oh sorry. Let me get some light in here. <laughs> I'm standing up. I'm standing up and look at that. So that's pretty badass. That's, that's, I'm excited about this like so much. You don't know. To have all that room, it's actually pretty warm in there too, which is weird because there's nothing running in it. Where the hell's my lights? Where did I put those? Those magnetic lights that I had. Thought I had them in this backpack. Hmm, well, during the day, I can install these here on the windows to uh, give us some sunlight in. However, where the hell did I put those magnetic lights? Because that's what I wanted to use. Now, I do have the option where in my truck, I got a flashlight in here. 
this jobby here, which has two functions. It's got your regular beam, and then it's got this like thing on the side. So let's go back in here into the darkness just to see here. We turn this on. See, it really lights. There's no, no that's metal though. If I have my magnetic light. But what I was thinking was I can always. Here, let me do this. I'll bring it with you. Like right now, I'm just running with that light. And look at this place. She's super bright in here, boys. This is pimp. <laughs> I could camp in this. I don't see why Steve has. Uh, I know. Sorry. I mean, I don't understand why Steve wouldn't want these on these for camping. This is perfect. This is absolutely awesome. Like I'm able to stand up. I could like I could sit here. There's another door right here. So, you know, I could easily sit here and fish there. Have the heater somewhere, probably over there in the corner or something. Sarah could sit here and fish there or sit there and fish here. So she has a door to get out. I have a door to get out. We both have windows. There's four windows in this thing. So we want to have a window open and we want to open up the vents for cross ventilation so we don't get carbon monoxide poisoning from the heater. Even just myself in here. I could set up the cooler here with the fish finder, put a hole right in front for the transducer, rip a hole for me, rip another hole for the tip up. And just have the tip up in here. So like when I'm using a ripping wrap trying to get the attention of the fish, over here, this here is loaded with some live bait that's dwindling around. Pike bites that, I pull them up, and we can finally take pike off the list. So this is pretty sweet. I am super, super happy about this whole thing. Uh, the fact that I can pretty much walk everywhere in here, except for against the right against the wall, but pretty much walk everywhere in here and stand up is pretty awesome. So, okay, we'll bring this light with us. Not bad for a $5 lamp. Do you have to say, that is pretty freaking sweet. Alrighty, now the fun part. How the freak do we put it away? That's gonna require a lot of swearing. Let's get you guys set up on the tripod. LOL, I just got the screenshot. And he was looking out his window going, what the frig is that loser up to now? Let's see if we can fold this thing back up and get it back into the pouch. That's the exciting part. So we're gonna try and reverse the operation here. Go back inside, pull the roof down. This is actually not that bad, guys. I was always, <laughs> last summer with that poppy uppy tent, you understand why I was worried about this. First, you don't succeed, consult the instructions. You know what? Probably don't need to worry about it.
Obviously, I'm not doing something right because this is not easy to get and put away. Oh, I should pay more attention. How do you tear down? Okay. Well, hold in the corner of the shelter, push the eyelet. <coughs> oh, okay. I see where I screwed up. You know what? I bitched about the clam, but that's way the hell easier than trying to put this thing away. Maybe in time I'll figure it out, but it's got to be an easier way of doing this. This is why I did this tonight, guys. This one is not getting back in the bag the same way it came out. You guess this tent. You guess correctly. That's the problem is I got it all up. The way it looks good. Then I gotta fling around trying to find the stupid strap. Okay, enough of this nonsense. I'm going inside to watch a YouTube video. Alrighty guys, yeah, see how this process has been taking all night. I took a little bit of time there and I went to the grocery store. I wanted to grab some shit for tomorrow for ice fishing. Putting this tent away was taking too, too long. So I almost got it too, like. I think I do got it. Yeah, I got it. I watched the video on it. Literally, buddy in the video did everything I did. The he didn't do it 17 times. He succeeded. I failed. I don't know. Cause like literally all he did. Here, let's take it back out. Yeah, there's something wrong. Because it's just too much material in the middle of the tent, and not enough on the bottom. So honestly, if I was on the ice, I think by now I would just shove this thing on the sleigh and drag it back in the truck as is. I just don't know why it's bellowing out in the middle like this. <sighs> you know what? Good enough. There's back in the bay. Was it done right? Probably not. Do I care? Definitely not. All right. Put this thing away. Let's go in the house. I got some food to eat. I'm freaking hungry. All right, we're all ready for ice fishing tomorrow, but you know what? I came back here to throw the smitty sled out because, well, who cares? And I saw this. That's where it was shit. There's some animal here, but look at these tracks. What the hell makes tracks like that? That's a bunny rabbit, right? That's a potential snack for the air fryer. So this thing I have in my hand here, this, this is going to be the solution to my problems with the attic. Anyway guys, battery's about to die because, well, I was out in the cold and you know how lithium ion is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. We got it set up, we got it torn down, we got it put back in the bag, sort of. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any tips about that hub and putting it away, let me know in the comments below. And until next time guys, remember, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.